Okay guys, I think you will like this one. Uh, I'm at the Prologo stand uh, where they have uh, all the team bikes that use Prologo saddles. So we start with EF Education, Intermarché, Circus, Vanti, uh, Astana, Kazakhstan, Bahrain, Victorious, Rupama, FDG and uh, UAE Emirates, of course. So, pretty nice collection of bikes. And uh, I would like to highlight the, the paint job of this Villiers. I've seen it only in uh, the pictures, but seeing it in person, it's, guys, it's one of the most beautiful bikes in the pro cycling peloton. And uh, yeah, the finish is absolutely gorgeous. I like the blue color and the details. Yeah, really a unique bike. I found this brand, Schindelhauer, and I just spoke to the lovely lady here, and uh, this uh, is piece of art, uh, to be honest. The frame is made of aluminum, and uh, the wheels are so well polished and brushed, it almost seems like a one-piece bike. It's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, what I like that, uh, it's also like uh, aerofoil shape. It's, it looks pretty aero as well, but it's still like a commuter bike, <laughs> but uh, not uh, a standard commuter bike. Uh, only five pieces of this bike will be made, one per each size, uh, which uh, makes it uh, really exclusive. And uh, yeah, uh, they even asked Shimano for the original Dura Ace cranks. Uh, there are also a few more details like the brakes, uh, they are super nice and uh, all the bolts were changed to titanium. She also told me that the ends of uh, these uh, spokes are uh, polished to match the hub finish. So yeah, really really special bike. Uh, you can guess the price in the comments below but yeah, it's it's beautiful. I'm currently at uh, 3T stand and uh, I found uh, out that they use the one by chain, chain ring in combination with uh, classified hubs, uh, which means that uh, you have like 12 speed cassette, cassette uh, and uh, the second chain ring is inside the hub. So you basically still have uh, 24 uh, speeds, but you have a one by chain ring. Uh, the shifter is here, so it works like electronic shifting, but uh, the big difference is uh, that uh, you seem you have one by and uh, he, the, the man from 3T told me that uh, you can shift under pressure. 3T once more, uh, this is their gravel bike uh, explorer and uh, I just wanted to show you the, the finish of the carbon. Looks uh, absolutely beautiful and uh, they uh, moved their production of these high-end frames from uh, Asia to Italy. So this frame is made in Italy. This purple color looks amazing. I guess uh, this is the bike of the Jonathan Milan based on this jersey. It's uh, signed here. He won the sprinter or points competition uh, at Giro d'Italia this year. So this is the custom paint. Beautiful. This bike catched my attention because uh, Bahrain Victorious actually has uh, completely different colors. And uh, then I realized they will probably have this bike for Tour de France this year. And uh, yeah, I, I was right. Uh, I completely missed their post on Instagram. And uh, they will race this Merida uh, with uh, FSA integrated cockpit. Uh, they have uh, this one because they just received the bike here. But uh, this color scheme of the white, gold and uh, greenish, bluish looks pretty nice. I just bumped into Reserve brand, uh, which is the brand that supplies Jumbo Visma with uh, the wheels. And uh, here is uh, the Primo Roglic uh, bike from the Giro d'Italia 2023. Uh, 
uh, he won this year of course so it's nice pink color here is another custom bike or I mean a really special bike it's a canyon a road uh, of Annemiek van Floyden uh, she won the Tour de France fam last year uh, pretty special bike Coratec is actually a brand that catched my attention during this year's uh, Giro d'Italia because there was a team riding Coratec bikes and I noticed that uh, they have uh, like a signature shapes at the head tube but the rear looks like a specialized SL7 for example but uh, these bikes are pretty unique I would say they try to maintain their uh, signature. I found something uh, really interesting here. Uh, this frame is made of graphene. Uh, I just spoke uh, with the lady here and uh, it's absolutely crazy. Look at the saddle and uh, the frame looks ridiculous. The finish is nice and uh, I will also sh show you how much uh, does it weigh and it weighs only 680 grams it's super lightweight look how does it shine this bike catched my attention because uh, when I move this way uh, the seat post and uh, the seat stays uh, look like from uh, Trek Madone it, it looks like Isoflow but uh, Isoflow is it ends here but uh, this one goes all the way and uh, yeah it looks different it's original but I don't know if this bike was developed after Madone or before this bike uh, took my attention because it uh, looks different uh, I know that uh, this may resemble Trek Madone but uh, I will try to explain everything uh, in this short clip so basically this is 3d printed titan titanium it should be uh, the first bike of this kind in the world and uh, it's made actually from three parts so you have like the rear chain stays uh, then you have uh, this part and then uh, the front and uh, this bike as you can see it now in this configuration should cost around 17,000 euros so it's about 18,000 dollars US dollars so pretty expensive uh, I asked about the shape of the seat post and uh, the lady told me that uh, this bike was in development for a few years now so uh, they did it this way so they could glue it, glue it together uh, I cannot verify if this is true or not but let's uh, believe her and uh, yeah uh, there are not so many benefits from what I understood uh, they they claim they can make it lighter and stiffer of course but uh, today's carbon frames are also very lightweight so yeah she they they, they can print any shape basically and uh, they can make the some uh, walls thinner in some parts so the bike should be comfortable and uh, stiff as well but i think you have to always balance like the stiffness uh, then the com comfort and uh, weight i'm currently at factor booth and uh, they will have a perfect storm landfall and they have a new bike coming it's a road bike uh, this is everything we can see uh, i'm not sure if it's a air bike or a lightweight bike but it looks like uh, something between maybe something like a specialized sl7 so we will see and here is something for triathletes and uh, iron man uh, this bike looks like a spaceship <laughs> it's crazy uh, this is what happens when you remove the UCI regulations you can go super wide with the front fork with the frame you can see that this part is almost completely closed uh, there is only a space for uh, two bo aero bottles uh, and the rear it's it's absolutely crazy. 
I think you can guess at uh, which booth I am right now. Uh, it's Campagnolo, their latest Campagnolo super, super record. And uh, to be honest, it's absolutely terrible from uh, in, in person. Uh, it's huge. The real derailleur, de it's, it's terrible. And uh, yeah, of course, the front layer as well, it's huge. And basically it limits you to use wider tires. So I don't know who approved this and uh, the price they charge for this group set is, uh, more, is higher than 5,000 US dollars. So I don't get it. Who would like to buy this group set? That's the question. Of course, then you have uh, the buttons, they get, got rid of the pump shifter, so they basically are like a Shimano or SRAM, but they have separated the buttons like this. Yeah. The problem with group sets is uh, that they are limited by patents so for example Campagnolo cannot use uh, the same battery in the rear and in the front because that's uh, SRAM technology and uh, because of this uh, we get group sets like this and uh, maybe one more thing uh, the entire uh, Campagnolo booth is just about this new product and uh, they have it here so this this is my hand and you can see that uh, the real delayer is almost as big as my my hand and i have pretty large hands the, the crank set looks nice that's uh, probably the only thing i i like about this group set but uh, yeah the delayer is terrible here are the hoods which are pretty thick yeah. i would say uh, yeah let me try okay it's yeah I, i'm used to shimano ultegra uh, hood so these these are not the most comfortable to hold here is the quick preview of the jumbo visma jersey for this year's tour de france uh, I just talked uh, with uh, Agu CEO, it was a great talk, uh, we talked about aerodynamics and uh, about that helmet, I will tell you more about it. And here is uh, uh, Jonas Wingegord, uh, bike from the Tour de France 2022 and also his signed uh, yellow jersey. I almost uh, get goosebumps when I see it in person. But uh, let me show you uh, one aero helmet that's pretty interesting and it's this one and uh, the CEO claims this is the fastest aero helmet on the market right now even faster than specialized Evate 3 so I know everybody claims that uh, their gear is the late, latest and best and fastest and lightest etc uh, but he sounded pretty convincing. We all know that the bicycle radars are pretty popular, but uh, there is some uh, alternative to this. Uh, these sunglasses have uh, a rear view mirror, so you can actually see what's happening behind you without having the radar. Uh, it's almost impossible to take this on the camera, so you will have to try the sunglasses, but you can adjust uh, the the mirror yeah thank you you can adjust the mirror to see what's happening behind you basically so if you are not the biggest fan of uh, Garmin Varia, Brighton Guardia and uh, these radars uh, this is an alternative okay seven hours in uh, I start to be pretty tired to be honest but uh, I still have a few more holes to come so yeah uh, I was only able to do <laughs> four holes from well, I don't know there are eight holes so <laughs> thankfully there are more days uh, in front of us so yeah we will see what new tech I will find 